quickly three things that you must note about the path of destiny number one is a lonely path just in case at the end of the service you decide to narrow down your life to the pursuit of destiny you are signing up for a life of loneliness it's a lonely road abraham lost everyone except his wife god will not reveal the next face to him as long as he was with his father as long as he was with lord there were dimensions of his core that will never be unveiled listen there are relationships that needs to go that's what i'm telling if you will attend to destiny any small thing you call all die your friend. Over half a bed. Urgent to key. Over a bed. Richard, my account. There's nothing wrong with friends supporting friends, right? But it get to a point where God might make sure that such relationships die because the demand of the fulfillment of your call or of your destiny is that you will walk on a lonely path. God told me early. He said you can never be a solution to a, a problem that you are part of. Listen to me. You can never be a solution. To a problem that you are what that you are part of. What do you mean? There's somebody here. The reason why you are delaying in answering the call is because you are bargaining with God. Lord, let me work for like five years, save enough money, help my family small, then I will answer the call. You are being foolish, brother. Think you, you are different. If in a family of five, five people are all grounded, maybe you are the last graduate, you now think you are the one with the star that is coming to leave the family. It's a revelation that there is a problem and everybody is a victim of that problem, including you. If you can do anything, come out. When you come out, you will see with a different lens and you will be engaged to be able to help those who are there. But if you, this is what robbed a lot of lives. I remember those days. Immediately I was having, God started troubling me about ministry. And I said, no Lord, I need to build my mother a house. Let me work for like five years. And then now, once I build the house, I don't care about myself. But I don't want my mother to stay in a rented apartment anymore. And now look at me. Say, are you her creator? That was when he told me you can never be a solution to a problem that you are what you are part of. Today the house is built, but that would have been what would have stood between me and God at that time. Listen, there are tough decisions that needs to be made on the part of this. That's why it's a lonely road. Don't expect everybody to understand the path you were walking or you are walking. You are the only one that know what you heard. You are the only one that know what you saw. They will never understand. You have graduated. They are waiting for you to walk and send them money. Oh God. What assurance do you have that you will get the job in the first place? And even if you get the job, what assurance do you have that you will, it will be enough for you to get out for your basic need before you extend the hand? Listen, it is better to flow from the point or the standpoint of destiny. Because in destiny, you will have surplus. As I am like this, I have no fear of tomorrow. And I'm not the one sponsoring my destiny. As long as I am aligned, the supply will keep coming. It's a lonely part. You will lose friends. You even you even lose family momentarily. When they see that the teen is speaking, they will now say, ah, our brother. But when you are trying to answer, they will call you useless brother. Because they will not understand. What are you trying to do? My, my three brothers... On my on my birthday, they all traveled and came to where I was out of love for this year, younger brother who was wasted, about to waste his future. And I was I was lean like dry bone because I was on fasting. And then I had special three days dry fast to hear God for the next phase. It was in the middle of that fast they came. So I looked like an orphan when they saw me, their heart broke. What are you doing to yourself? What's going on? out of concern? One of them got angry when he heard that. I got a job offer to work with NN, no, PPNC. Give me an offer. Come and work here. When I said this was the offer that came, but when I asked God, God told me, the job you need or training. And I turned down the offer. The guy jumped out of the car, banged the door, boom. He was looking, for, if he had hammer, he would have hit my head. Opportunity that people are looking for. He said, God said, don't understand. When I, he heard I had an offer to work with a pharmaceutical company with a house and an official car. But when I asked God, hey, is it job you need or training? This why I want to keep, waste his life. They left. I continued my fast. But, you know, I don't expect them to understand because they were not in my conversation with the great one, the author of my life. They were not there when I heard what I heard. They were not there when I saw what I saw. But I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that as long as I continue on this path, I will have more than enough. Don't let bread and wine rob you of your glorious future. It's hard. It's difficult. That's why not many men attain to destiny. Because it's a path that is laden with all kinds of affliction. One of those afflictions is loneliness. Nobody will understand you. You will lose friends. You will lose family. But stay up. Stay there. When you find a treasure, everybody will come back. Every 
everybody will come back because everybody celebrates success. He said in Job chapter 28, verse 7 and 8, he said, There is a part that no fowl knows. The vulture eyes have not seen it. The lion webs have not trodden it, nor the fierce lion passed by it. That is the part of destiny. It is not a part popular. It's not a popular road. It's not a plane or a path that many pass by. Only a few. Only the one walking on that path knows how the path looks like, what it looks like, what it takes to uh, to keep walking upon it. He said there is a path that no foul knows. Nobody can walk the path of destiny for you. The lion whelp have not passed upon it. The great lion have not passed by the virtual eyes. No matter how he saw in the, in the sky, it cannot trace the path of your destiny because that path is revealed for eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has he entered the heart of any man. What God has planned unto them that love them. He has revealed it to us by who? By his spirit. By his spirit. By his spirit, he will reveal it to you. If you stay long enough, you will know. You will know. And when you know, you will take decisions that will offend a lot of people. Yes. Some of them will stand and say, okay, since you have decided to destroy yourself, go and destroy yourself. Let's see how you will succeed. And you know the beautiful thing? They will wait to hear news of your failure. But all they keep hearing is the glorious thing that God is doing. Because your life is not in the hand of any man. Your life is in the hand of the ultimate creator. As long as you find alignment with him, nothing, no power of hell can be able to bring you down. If in the cause of hell, you let me know closely. I tell you, hey, you just see the what fed the tail. What can you tell me to say? Why, what we are little more. Sele mina wo Itile ile saye Wa platita le kofikle Spine di tono O komite suleo 